Okay, time for an update on the project we've been working on for the last month. Yeah, that's what it looks like. That thing's full of plants. <laughs> Which I'm obviously not gonna plant because I, I, it's hard to plant them with an excavator is what I'm saying. Got a lot of hardscape done around here in the last couple of weeks. I ended up just doing time lapse because it's kind of rinse and repeat. We're gonna put in base, we're gonna lay pavers. So this is the driveway we put in. This section is all heated. We built this planting box here. We really entertained the idea of a water feature in here, like some stack slate urns or some scallop urns right in the center there. But there's two sewer lids in there for their sewer tank. And it, it was just, it would have been a real pain to access those if we'd have put a basin in there. So I guess we're gonna have to put a big tree in there and up light it. It's kind of a shame because everyone wanted to put a water feature there. Which way do I wanna go? This way? There's pavers going the whole way around the house. Like I said, this section is all heated. I shot some uh, video of us putting that together. Check out this neat box. This will get buried in the flower bed. This plumber has more patience than I do. Let's see, that's your that's your send from the boiler. He goes into all the uh, all the paver space, and then this is the return. It goes back to the boiler. He has a little nerve wracking cutting pavers in there. If I hit one of those then we're gonna have to look for it. So, paper's going all the way around here, a bunch of joining material we're put in, and then on either end of the houses, we have the two planting boxes for flowers. So we put in these planter boxes on either end of the house, and this side of the house has a, um, there's a garage door coming in here for like all his uh, rangers, buggies, you name it, ATVs. So that's what that little driveway section is. Back here is the outdoor living space. Got Jake putting in the kitchen today. And you all saw this, this is all done. That's the lower seating area. Fireplace, a lot of fancy cutting here yesterday. My back kind of hurts today, I'm not gonna lie. So we have one section of pavers left to do. That's this lower portion. That's like gonna be the bar area for the kitchen. Got that to put in yet. The hot tub is set. Today I'm gonna to work some boulders in here, bring in a bunch of uh, planting mix and start putting in plants. Here's how you can, uh, if you have a wall, you can sink these hot tubs down in here and put an access door in the wall. That way you can still get to like all your plumbing and stuff. That's pretty neat. That way you don't need to climb up into the hot tub. Steps coming up here. 
This was kind of like these steps where you can get down to the lower, to the yard here. And we're thinking about maybe at some point putting in a big swim pond off of that edge. So then you could access this. It'll be really, really cool. Yeah, kitchen area. And then around this side, it's just basically a repeat of what's on that side. More, more a planting box on this side and a bunch of flower beds and walkway. It's kind of unusual that we lay the whole way around a house without any steps or anything. And you had to, every all the pavers tied together. So we started laying, where did we start laying? Oh, we started laying right here. And we laid up here and we laid the whole way around there. And then we had to meet back there. Sometimes it's hard enough to lay around a post, let around a house. So we did fight a little bit to keep everything perfectly square. So there we go. That's all the hardscape we put in. That was basically just Deej and I. Occasionally we had an extra guy and it took us what, four weeks? I think that's what it is. Coming down the home stretch here. Well, this is a pretty good feeling. It's quite the view here. It's about uh, a month and a half work, uh, worth of work here. So we had this completed. That was basically just the and I. Uh, occasionally we had some guys in. I think it came together really nicely. Like everything matches the house really well. The setting is nice. I'll have to make sure to get you some lighting pictures because the lighting on this place is phenomenal. Fun project. It was about an hour and 20 minutes away from home, so that added some challenges to it, but I'm glad to be done with it. And I want to thank you guys for watching, following along on the build. As always, if you have any questions, reach out in the comments and I'll uh, try to answer them. If you're enjoying this kind of stuff, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next one.